Let's just look at the Discord and see what everybody's talking about. <sighs> Wait, what's that? Where do you see that pic? You mean me? I don't see it on their IG. You need to click on the profile pic to see it. Damn, I don't have an IG. Lol. Lol. Okay, I made one. So the gun itself looks a lot like a Walther P99. I'm not sure if that's actually how you say that, but uh, it's what one of my subscribers wrote in the Discord here. These subscribers can be very, very helpful. Very helpful. So let's push on to the rest of the video. On the last episode of What We Know, ironically, we talked about Instagram. Because Void Interactive had a couple of new pictures, and I, you know, didn't know that the pictures actually had names. So now we're going back to Reddit, which has a wealth of information, and hey, look, more dev responses. So let's start off with Ron Daytime Maps? Sounds interesting. Hi, I have some questions about the setting of Ron, and what we might expect from it. So, as a spiritual successor to SWAT 4, and what with the trailer showing off such characteristics, is Ron going to focus on environments of dark, grimy colors and lighting? In the trailer, we see places like dimly lit apartment buildings, dark kill houses, and smoggy shipping containers, all adding to the sense of darkness and maturity. But in one of those clips, the one with the phone vibrating under a desk, in what seems to be a classroom, the room it's in seems to be lit brightly by a natural noonish sunlight. So I was wondering, will the game focus on exclusively, primarily, or occasionally dark settings? Will there be an equal amount of less grimy daytime settings as well that haven't been featured in a trailer or clip? It's really been bugging me lately, thinking about whether you guys would like to keep a morbid dark theme in all aspects, including settings, or if you'd continue to choose attributes as realistic as possible for your game, and shed light on the fact that SWAT and CT units do in fact work in the light as well. Thank you for taking the time to at least read if not respond to my questions. As of now, I'm really looking forward to this game above all else in the future. Interesting. And the developer replies with, there's a good mix of day, night, and dusk maps based on the nature of the call. Cool, cool, cool. Moving on to the next one. Has advanced player customization been discussed? Wondering if any sort of mod modular advanced based customization has been announced for example, like Tom Clancy's Wildlands customization. It would be awesome to design your character from face, tattoos, clothing, packs. And the developer replies with, sorry, most likely not a priority. We'll be adding few different helmet variants, and once we get into our expansions, you'll see a lot of different looking officers based on where they're going, e.g. maritime? Instead, each of your officers will have slight differences in their kit in order to break up the looks. You'll also be able to choose your officer. Scrolling down we see... Please don't forget about the distinctive GIGN helmets, it makes them recognizable. I keep fingers crossed for the success of your game, I can't wait. And the developer replies with Priet Pas Priet? What does that mean? Which well, translate to ready not ready. And then he starts and then he starts talking to him in French. Thanks, Kebab, for the French translation. So basically, he says, I'm not French, I'm Polish, but I love GIGN. Do you plan to introduce this feature in the future? And then Kebab tells me that in the beginning, he says that he uses Google Translate to tell him, you know, what he's saying. And then he continues with, if we go in the direction of a French Ron expansion, then of course we would. It's not a bad idea to, to include the CTU uniforms from various countries like Grom, GIGN, SES. I'm guessing these are all like the police that he's naming off uh, GCS, G9 etc. Unless these are without special abilities and gadgets, of course. GL anyway. We'll probably only include them if we're in the country. You never know. And that's all they have to say about that. Alright, so we're moving on to the next one. Will the co-op modes in this game have the same story as single player? That's interesting. I'm planning on possibly getting this game to play with friends, and I want to know if the co-op has the same story as the single player, or if they'll be different. And the person immediately replied, but it wasn't the developer, it says, I am pretty sure it is confirmed that you can play all levels cooperatively. And the developer replies with, yup. Ooh, cool. Can't wait to try that out. And then this other guy replies with, but will the game be SG co-op based or multiplayer based? Just like in Rainbow Six. Please check the FAQ. We're heavily focused on single player co-op. Multiplayer is in there too, but we're more interested in humans working together. Yes! 
swap for, baby, yeah! The next one is Void Interactive, looking for voice actors and actresses. We already know about this one, but we're looking at the dev response. So let's see if I can find it. Uh, it says, they're talking about the guy that um, did a really good job on the voice actor thing. And developers had said, we are looking more, th more than just one voice. So maybe I have a chance. <laughs> That's doubtful. I wish. Oh, it also seems like they're looking for male hostages too. Okay, so if you have like a really nice mic, I'm guessing they're looking for that. They don't seem to have an, a studio, audio studio. Okay, that's that's cool. All right, well, let's move on to the next one, huh? About the death system. Overall, I really like the system that is being worked on, and I am very excited to see it in action. Although, there is one video that has always bugged me. The video where the suspect drops to the ground and rolls is my main concern. If you watch the video to the part where he's actually put down, his spine basically folds back on itself. Seeing that would really break the immersion for me. I think that a good way to deal with that, and this is just an outsider's opinion, would be to basically stiffen up the person when they die. I mean, in real life, your spine is very hard to bend, which is why you don't see people folded up like pancakes that often. So the devs were able to implement a system which locks the spines up on death, at least a little bit, possibly a lot, a few degrees of movement. I think it would really help the immersion and realism. What do you guys think? Also, apologies if this has already been brought up. And the developers replied with, It's changed a lot since then, but obviously this is why we don't show a lot of video content while we're still working on this game. So much of it is subject to change and improvement. And then the person that posted this apologized, and the developer says, It's cool, we see these threads. Sometimes some neat ideas pop up in the process. Well, that's cool. I like how they take, um... Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it criticism. It's more of, a uh, ideas, I guess? I don't know if that's the right word, but uh, yeah. It's really cool that they're actually taking that stuff into account. So moving on to the next one. Will there be telescopic sights? How will they work? If there are, will the outsides of the scope be blacked out like Halo, Battlefield 4, Hardline Snipers, or will the player have peripheral vision like Sniper Ghost Warrior and Rainbow Six Siege? And the developer responds with, we're looking into picture-in-picture -picture scopes for snipers, but it can get really expensive, and if not handled well, it can become really ugly. In any capacity, we're trying to get it to be as realistic in every other facet. So one more thing before I leave, Void Interactive uploaded another photo on their Instagram, and I thought I would share it with you at the end of the video here. I'm not sure what kind of shotgun that is, but uh, my subscriber says that it's a Remington 870p? At least that's what he thinks it is, I have no idea. I'm not a gun expert, tell me in the comments. And that's all of the developer responses for today. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i will catch you in the next one bye bye